Hey YouTube, matches eight six zero. Friday Savinelli with two daughters. The blend name, two timers, two timer. It's just an unflavored burley. Very nice. So I got this weird story to tell. Which I probably should have told in my trilogy videos. But I had too much stuff going on as it was. So I'll tell it now. summer of 1967. I was 12 years old. Found myself with uh, nobody in the neighborhood. Everyone was on vacation. My plan B for entertaining myself was going down to the elementary school playground where they had a summer program every day. Got on my bike and went down the playground. This one particular day, nobody was there. I don't remember the exact circumstances, but the counselors and the kids all took off to another elementary school that was about a half a mile up the road. So, going to another location was sort of like going to a foreign country. I had some reservations about going up there. But in the end, I went up to see what was going on. Got to the other school's playground. Sure enough, everybody's there. I kind of wandered around trying to fit in somewhere. And I ended up sitting on the sidelines of a touch football game, figuring maybe somebody would uh, leave the game and I'd get drafted. while I was sitting there. This kid came up. Never saw him before. We started uh, shooting the bull. Turns out we had a few things in common. Baseball, music. So, uh, ended up being lunchtime. He lived right down the street from the school on my way home, so I was walking my bike talking to him. Got to his house and he asked me what I was doing after lunch. I said nothing. He goes, oh, you want to toss the baseball around? I said, sure. I'll be back after lunch. Had my lunch and rode my bike back to his house. Knocked on the door. He's got his baseball and glove all set to go. He calls his mother over. Introduces me to his mother. and I was like, hi, bye. Spent the afternoon tossing the baseball, listening to music on the radio, just talking about crap. And uh, 
subject of school came up at some point. And I asked him if he was going to the junior high school, which was right around the corner from his house. He said uh, he was going to be going to Catholic school in the fall, next town over. So the end of the day came, and I think we both figured at some point we'd run into each other again. Unfortunately, that never happened. Went through my uh, three years of junior high school, and in 1970, that autumn I was starting high school. Never forget that day. Got off the bus at the high school. And uh, the windows of the front of the school were pasted with these papers that had everybody's name on them, where they were to go for homeroom. Found my name and homeroom. Walked into the classroom and I looked at the blackboard. Mrs. So-and-so. Thought that name sounds familiar. Lady comes into the room. It was this kid's mother. I figured, well, I'm safe. She won't remember me. You gotta understand, your first day of high school you kind of want to fly under the radar. You're mixed in with all these kids you have never seen before. Anyway, she called out everybody's name. You had to go up and get a uh, packet with all your information in it. She calls my name. I go up and I reach for the packet. She grabs my wrist and pulls me around to the back of the desk. Thought I was going to wet my pants. She says, I remember you from uh, when you came over and played baseball with my son. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Just wanted to die right there. went back to my chair. And that was the end of that. My homeroom got changed the next year. And uh, she taught business, so I never saw her again. Thought, what a coincidence. So, <laughs> fast forward to 2012. got word that they were tearing the high school down after 50 years. And that January was when I came up with the idea of doing that trilogy video and that turned into a much bigger project. I go up and tour the school the week before it's going to be torn down big walk down memory lane. You'll probably remember I ran into my old girlfriend there and that got me all fouled up. Right after I ran into her, I decided to uh, have a seat on a bench before I went and checked into my hotel room. So, uh, wander over to the front of the school and kind of still felt like I was back in the 1970s. 
noticed there was an elderly lady sitting on the bench next to me. Didn't pay much attention. Woman came up to her and said, Oh, Mrs. So-and-so, you were such a great teacher. And I looked over. Sure enough, it was the kid's mother again. What an odd experience. All of a sudden, time was like pushed right into my face. Forty years. And uh, I mentioned it in that video, there were only a couple of hundred people at this event walking through the school. I ran into one classmate, that was my girlfriend, and uh, of all the teachers, I think there were a hundred teachers when I was there. And it's this kid's mother. <laughs> really makes you think. So that's my weird story. Next week I start a uh, couple of days of vacation. And uh, I'll either do one or two videos. Might not be Friday, but we'll see how the week goes. Anyway, thanks an awful lot for watching. Have a great weekend.